if they have a wonky ditto, maybe the character has some wonky stuff going on. I feel like every ditto is just kind of wonky. Uh, I feel look like at this. What is this gameplay? I feel like straightforward dittos, like, you know, if you have your Mario dittos, you have your Me Brawler dittos, you have your Pyro Mythor dittos, you both know what's going to happen. But in a Ridley matchup Ridley like this, oh, wait. Ridley Did ditto. He, a, no, he didn't have a jump. Case in point, what I said yeah, before. you can't do anything there. Smubs, edge guards are some of the best in the business with this character. And those edge guards are going to be super important. Because when you're playing a character like Ridley, his recovery is good. However, if you get him into a certain position, you just can't do anything. Correct. Ooh, very good ledge trap from Smub. Just gonna rack it up right there. Boop with a finding the shark with the up air. Mm -hmm. F to it right there. This does look even, however, that just early stock is super devastating, especially in the ditto and Smub running away right now with this game one. Something else I forgot to highlight is that both of them have good two frames. Ridley is good at two frame game. Ridley is great at two frame game. But Smub is a bit better than almost any oh, other Ridley I've seen. That. that would have been a very funny trade. Yeah. GameStop trade a pin. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Bit of a roll one Rocket League moment. I was about right to there. make a very inappropriate joke right there. <laughs> it's okay. It writes itself. It Just like the joke writes itself. The book closes itself on that uh, game right there, Smub. 1 0. Just keeping it clean and. I that feel was like, very clean. Yeah, I feel like Making in the ditto. Making work of his Ridley counterpart. Yeah, I feel like in the ditto, Smub definitely has an edge here because of the strengths that he has playing this character. You know, bit of a better edge guarder. Cream Poopa, I feel like, has just as strong, if not maybe slightly stronger neutral and just as str maybe stronger juggles. But Ridley is just going to be a character that will bully you off stage, and, and after that, it's Smub's win condition. What would you think canonical Ridley would think about this running into himself? Um, Ridley's actually pretty smart according to lore, isn't he? So he like, is very smart. Yeah, so he probably either he'd probably be friends with himself. <laughs> yeah, he'd probably either like collaborate to like I don't know kill Samus or try and kill himself to gain more knowledge. Or something. If I, I was know. Samus and I had to fight two Ridleys, I would be so mad because yeah. that guy just doesn't die. Yeah, for real. However. This is looking a bit closer than game one already. Kububa has the lead, however, how long can he keep it for when you're at the, the hands of Smub's ledge trapping? Oh, all right. Setting up for that win condition. Yep, trying to tech chase him on the platform. Creep Hooba cooking a little bit with those juggles. As I was saying before, this is where he plays best. Ooh, I like the... Great Saibi, not going to do it, though. Yeah. Someone in chat to catch up versus Mustard. <laughs> That Splatfest looking ditto right here. This would be a funny Splatfest. I think they did that in Splatoon 1. They probably did. I think they did catch up Mustard versus Mayo. If anyone picked Mayo. But Japanese Mayo hits different though. It was a very like. I've never had Japanese Mayo before. I think QP American Mayo. Mayo is disgusting. QP Mayo. Uh, yeah, it's the, it's the truth. I had Burger King one time, I accidentally put it on a burger. It was so gross. Yeah. But all I know is that Creep Hooba's eating good with this game, though. Looking like a far cry from how the last uh, game went. Everyone in chat's just debating <laughs> about condiments right now. Ooh. I'm debating on whether or not Smub can bring this back at the moment, because he's still looking like pretty confident, but when Mustard both getting off the ledge right there. <laughs> when both of them are on stage, I mean, Creep Hooba just has complete control. Fireball's coming out. 160 on Creep Hooba right now. You're not making it back from there. <laughs> yeah, and Creep Hoopa just not having the horizontal mobility to make it back. So, final stock game. It's still really anyone's game, but Creep Hoopa, yeah, yeah, just needs a one of those. Grab. But he's not capitalizing on these two frames two as fra often. Oh, right but right to say that? Hey, I'll take a commentator's curse every now and then. I love being proved wrong when Someone a player's living up potential. just said the most unhinged thing I've ever read. What? Mustard is far better on pizza than ketchup. Let's be real. What the hell? Ketchup's just redundant. Let's be... Let's get that out of the way first, because you already have tomato on the tomato yeah, you sauce. You already have tomato sauce. Why would you put more ketchup or more tomato on it? Yeah. Mustard, I've never tried it. I can't see that. Maybe if you get like, I'm trying. I'm trying to okay, work I with you here. I think my opinion. My opinion. The I'm only thing regular mustard is good on is hot dogs. Agreed. Honey mustard is just better in every way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honey you mustard is good. You put that on chicken. It is so good. Yeah. Hard agree. Like chicken nuggets. 
Chick fil A sauce. Chick fil A has the best. Oh, Speaking wait. of sauce, what am I talking about? Smub's getting sauce yeah, right exactly. now. <laughs> let's, let's keep it above. This is Chick fil A versus McDonald's. Yeah. All right, but the switch kind of flipped after game one. Creep Hoover found his edge guard. Oh my game. god. Dude, Smub is being put in a blender right now. How yeah. does he get out? Uh, you know, what am I talking about? They're just mashing. Uh, a little bit, but, you know, constructive and polished mashing. Uh, being sent the wrong way. And Creep Hoopa reversing that edge guard, oh but God. almost. I like what he was cooking. I like what he was cooking. He faced the other way on that up B, so that Smub would be sent the opposite way and potentially set up for a kill. But Creep Hoopa overextending a little bit, but still solidly on. You know, you can't be reverse that up B. What's up? You can't be reverse Ridley's up B. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, so dumb. Wait a minute. Smub pulling. Oh my god. 64%, just like that, and a two frame. Does he have a jump? Yes. He makes just it back anyway, enough. though. Ooh, gonna react perfectly to that side B. Parrying the up smash and getting a back here. Now, Smub is the one off stage. Whoa. Oh, that looked untackable, too. That was untackable. Yeah, I've never seen that happen off of Ridley's side B. Oh, Creep Hoopa getting another one. Do it again. Side Do B. Do it again. Oh, yeah. very close, very close. I respect that. And still had the um, like, range to make it back. Ooh, good air dodge from Smub. However, Creep Hoopa is going to catch all that. You're so big, and Ridley has such big hitboxes. Ridley's advantage state on Ridley is very <laughs> scary. Yep. Whoa, barely avoiding that. No tech. Wait, no! Yeah. Smub bonking his head on the stage. Yeah. For that some reason, they gave Fox and Falco and Wolf like 500 different angles. They hate Ridley. Ridley has four. They hate Ridley. Yeah, yeah. Ridley has four angles. That is it. I was going to bring this up earlier, but his side B. A lot of the time, it is very hard to tech and just borderline, untech borderline untechable. Yeah, especially if they're willing to hold it. If they and still have if, jumps. Even if they tech it, you're able to like get like an air or a yeah. fair because you have so many jumps. Get Getting like, just grabbed off stage with that is so scary. Mm -hmm. Honestly, as a Ridley player myself, I don't even know what to do there. Yeah, it's a tricky stuff unless you have a really high double jump. Like your Fox Falcos might be able to like tech People jump. People are still jump arguing about condiments and chats. Hey. People like talking about food. Everyone First needs. it was MD versus VA. Now it's barbecue sauce versus lions. What I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I looked away for two seconds. <laughs> Where did Creepuba stock go? Zero to death just like that. Unfortunate. But you Speaking know Speaking of unfortunate, we have not seen any skewers. What are they doing? Trying to win. <laughs> don't use them. <laughs> I got one earlier on a PR player. Did you win the set? He was playing Steve. Did you win the set? Almost. Did you win the set? My excuse is he was playing a banned character. All right. Yep, yep. That's why we don't use skewer, folks. See you next. <laughs> <laughs> he was spot dodging a lot. What else are you going to do? Anyway, Smub uh, getting his stock taken right after that. This is such an explosive game. However, Repuba does have the game lead, so you really need to close it out here. Because if Smub keeps playing like this, Oh my god. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem. Oh my god, nice. wait, he has a one oh under my the stage. God. Okay. And just oh. barely not enough. Do you think he could have made it back if he didn't go for that edge guard? Uh maybe. But if he didn't go for the edge guard, I feel like Smub just would have hit him and like made it harder for him to almost recover anyway. So there might have been a way to get both done, but you know. I don't blame him for missing that. He was a couple picks from off. It's the command grab. Good twenty percent right there. Wait a minute. Uh -oh. Okay, doesn't try to gimp him off that, just very scary for Poop -poop -poop. I mean, for Smub, I got to mix it up, but Gold Ridley finds the kill. And actually, Wait not a having a lot of resources, he still has a jump enough, but when Squid, when uh, Smub starts That's hitting it. those edge guards, you know you're done. He had no oh jumps. My God. He had no chance. We got ourselves a game five. That was such a quick game. Yeah. This might have been so back and forth. Both players beautifully optimizing their character mm -hmm. against their character. And we love to see it. I mean, with the caliber of these two players, there is no way that this didn't go to game five. Yeah, chat was complaining at this about this set. This is hype. See, this, this is, is what I'm saying. Chat does not know what they want, okay? People do not know what they want sometimes. When you they know, exist. Let's, let's, do a, let's do another Splatfest question. Uh, I think they're good on, con, on arguing the condiments for a while. 
We got ourselves no, a game five. Condiments, not condiments. Do you think dittos are a true representation of skill? No. I'm asking chat, not you. Oh. Well, I'm saying no. I don't think I so can, either. I, yeah, I could be one of the like squid sisters up there, just having their opinions. But like, yeah, I say hard no. But but when you look at the bigger picture and you look at how late they meet in the bracket, you know, for them, I feel like it's more about just overall set history and um, higher wins and yeah, a lot of different things. Skill is really hard to uh, calibrate, you know, effectively. Dittos are a true representation of who is awesome. Perfectly said. Long ice tea. And also, I feel like it depends on the ditto. You know, it, yeah, it Mega Man dittos do not ditto. matter. <laughs> Ridley dittos are back and forth, as you've been seeing. I feel like any heavy ditto is just a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Except for DDD, that just looks stupid. It's a 70 80 matchup. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, right now, Smub opening up early off the skates in the game number five. Koopa though, saw position. He's gonna be oh looking for an edge guard, but not okay, able to back find it. Yeah. I saw a missed tech and I was like, oh no. Koopa was actually in really bad position there. If Smup had hit that F tilt, it would have been probably done for that stock. Oh, oh my oh. god, the first, that was the first F smash we've seen all set. Wow. Perfect read on that spot dodge. This is back to an even game. Yeah, he finds that perfect. Alright, Smup though, spinning fire right now. Dropping Perfect bars, but Kripuba gonna find the combo out of the down tilt, but Smub immediately gets stage positioning again. Mm. He's at the ledge, just react to that with Nair, what do you do? Speaking of reacting, F tilt gonna send him off stage yet again. Smub looking for that F tilt tipper that probably would have killed there, but wow, will find his way back to stage. Kripuba. Even better mashing from Smub. Yeah. Bursting through that plasma graph right there. Wow. Tag out that uh, ledge, get up. We got the edge guard, Wait we do, but not the is tipper. He dead? Uh, I think he's what makes this. I think he just yeah, has enough. Yeah, DBZ moment. Enough. Fighting the side beat. This is Creep Pooba's tournament stock. How is he going to bring this back? He's been playing like a lot of like. I'm trying to think of the word, but. Uh oh. Trying to get in his head a lot. However, Smub not having any of it. The tech. But oh you can't tech again. Do you have enough momentum? Oh it doesn't matter. God. I think that's it. He went for it, but Smub. Smub. Smub just. That was the stairway to hell right there. That's why I'm, I'm naming that combo the stairway to hell. Yeah. Drags him down. Drag just him on. down straight to the nether. Just keeps on forward airing, and Smub keeps it clean for the game number five to take home the set. That See, was such a fun game. I don't know what chat was talking about. You guys suck. We love you, you though. You all suck. We love you, though. We love you. We love you, though. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. That'd be a VF. But, I mean, that means that Peanut has that to... That means Peanut has to fighting fight against the Smub. Ridley known as Smub. Yeah. But, real quick, since we're in between games, a thought popped in my head. Chat, what is...